So I'm always asked this question about how I edit my photos and how I make my colors pop the way I do. So this video will be a quick breakdown of a picture that I took of Future and Lil Baby. Nothing too in depth. All right, without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm gonna make it short and sweet, you know what I'm saying? Let's head over to the computer so I can show you everything. Right here, we have Future, you know what I'm saying? I uploaded this picture. It went crazy on Instagram yesterday. I also seen it went viral kind of on Twitter. I seen a lot of people posting it. I appreciate if y'all like tag it, boy, you know what I'm saying? Just, uh, I know how to, I know how it go. But these are the, the colors that I use. It's from my Game of Tones preset pack, but we're not even gonna get into that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and actually reset this so I can show you how the preset was dead, you know what I'm saying? So right here, you can see that it's real flat, you know what I'm saying? Also, when I upload, I also go by the rule of thirds. I'm not gonna get too in deep about the rule, and, the rule of thirds and everything, but that's what I use when I upload on Instagram and basically when I how I go into taking a picture. So right off the bat, I'm gonna start with dropping the exposure down just a little bit. I'm gonna up my contrast, um, crush my highlights so I can get that detail in the jacket and also that detail in little baby jeans and just to make it overall just crush the highlights because when it's too bright, it's just too much, you know what I'm saying? Also, I'm gonna bring my whites all the way down in this picture in order to give it that moody look. My blacks, I'm gonna crush them too. Not too much for this one, but, you know, drop them down. My shadows, I'm gonna crush them. Just down a little bit, I'm gonna bring it back up. It was getting too dark. Um, clarity, I'm gonna give it that presence, you know what I'm saying? That crispy look, the sharpness to it. Then, my temperature is looking too bluish for me right now. You know, it's starting to look good already, but I'm gonna up that temperature a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Just like that. And my tone, I mean my tint, I'm gonna up my tint. Play with them tones a little bit. Look, man, it's looking fire already. We're gonna go down to saturation. I'm gonna desaturate this picture. Um, not too much. Just subtle, subtle changes, subtle changes, people. I'm gonna come down to the tone curve, make me a simple S curve. I'm gonna actually up this right here and then make another point and I'm gonna drop that down. These are the highlights and these are the shadows right here. I'm gonna leave this just how it is. I want it clear, I don't really want a lot of fade in it. But at this top end, I'm gonna drop this top end down just a little bit, cause I can see that it's clipping at the top. So we're gonna do that just like that. I'm gonna come down to my yellows and drag my yellows down. Also, I'm gonna take out the green, cause as you can see, like the trees right here, it's like popping too much for me. So when we fade that all the way down, it makes future just pop out, you know what I'm saying? You can just see future now. We zoned in on future. You see a lot of depth of field because of the 50 millimeter lens, but now you can see future because I just faded all that down, you know. Come all the way down to, we're not gonna play with the split tone at all. Um, remove chromatic aberration. Also, this right here, the enable profile corrections, it also corrects the lens because the lens give off a lot of vignette and I don't want the vignette for this photo. And also, I'm gonna straighten this photo up, so I'm gonna click Auto, and you see it's straightened up. I like the way it looks. Don't do this for every picture. This is just like some stuff it works for, and sometimes you just gotta do it yourself. So, um, right here, we're gonna come down to Calibration, and I'm gonna drag the hue down and give it a good little teal tint to it. So I overall recreated this look just like that. And I like the way it looks. It, it looks pretty much the same as the edit. So um, I think I'm gonna up the exposure just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. Um, just a little bit. And it looks pretty much good for me. I'm gonna show y'all before and after. This is the before, faded, ugly, Ah, oh, man. Straight out the camera, raw. No, like, no colors at all, so. 
then you see the final. If you found this video informative in any way, you liked it, you know what I'm saying, you rocking with the kid, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the YouTube channel, man, I'm going super hard, you dig what I'm saying, but I'm gonna catch you on the next video. Peace.